Well, I have made a trip three hours from home is because a fellow has a storage unit completely packed full of golden and silver age and bronze age comics. I'm waiting for a train in town here. As soon as that passes, we're gonna keep on trucking and go check this out. As for the comics, they weren't just a random assortment of comics. They were basically complete series or complete runs. So if we had, you know, Code of the, the Silver Sage, well, there, you know, there's probably all of them in there. Um, that can go off to get graded. Um, so those, we're gonna send some of these out to get graded. So uh, anything that is a higher value and is listed as being in the air mint, like look at how crisp the, the edge, the spine of this comic is. here what do we have complete packages of lobby carts now I'm gonna open one of these up and just see if they're all different or if they're all the same um, let's find out well this is a, a fair bit older that's Buster Crab as Tarzan the fearless that's going back a few years Got some Steve McQueen. Everybody's a big fan of Steve McQueen. Just the, the thought of it makes me kind of almost want to watch it. <laughs> well, all this cowboy stuff, and there had to be some crazy horror movie posters in here, of course. I'm the COO of Comic Connect here in New York City. We are the premier online auction site for comic books and all things collectible. I started buying and selling comic books since I was 15 years old, and I've loved it ever since. I was actually doing it out of my basement in Rockaway Beach, Queens. And then when I graduated from uh, St. John's University, I was selling comic books in the streets of Manhattan, and I built my business up from next to nothing. Uh, and now I'm the largest dealership of vintage comic books in the world. Now, so what's the craziest comic book that you've sold at your auction house? The most expensive comic book we ever bought and sold was Action Comics number one from 1938. It's the first appearance of Superman. Right. And we picked this comic book up uh, for $3.2 million. And I'm sworn to secrecy, but we sold it for a bit higher than that. Our company also sold the first comic book ever for a million dollars. 
and that was also in Action Comics number one in 8.0 condition. We sold the first Silver Age comic book from the 1960s uh, for over a million bucks. That was Amazing Fantasy 15 in 9.6 condition. First appearance of Spider-Man. If you ever told me when I was a kid that I'd be dealing in comic books of, of this magnitude, I think my head would have exploded. And a lot of this is nostalgia. It's, it's what it means to somebody in terms of their, their life. Um, I've had people come into my office and say, you know, I'm buying this comic book. This is when I was a little boy or a little girl. This was the first comic book that my parents ever bought me. Or I remember buying this off the newsstand and we had a terrible flood. So I've always dreamed of getting this copy back into my collection. So you, you hear so many incredible stories. And also you hear stories about how comic books have influenced people in terms of their lives. Um, I've had police officers tell me the reason they became police officers because they wanted to do good in the world. They wanted to help people. Uh, same thing with doctors and lawyers. And they said, well, I don't have superpowers, but maybe I can do something like this and try to do my part. So, you know, sometimes when people ask me what I do for a living, I'll, I'll say something like, I'm a happiness dealer. Now we have our big auction happening November 2nd, the Wild West auction, the quick draw auction. And part of the reason we called it that is that the fellow that I bought it from was a Wild West quick draw artist who actually was a real bona fide cowboy. And, um, you know, you could see that clearly he was interested in the West and all things Western. Have you ever seen a more complete collection of Western comics before? I, I honestly have not. It is amazing the breadth and width and depth of this collection. It is mind boggling. Th this guy loved Westerns like nobody else I've ever seen. And what's fantastic about it is you can see that he wanted to have a representation of everything Western. And he has so many of the great titles in there. Um, everything from Gene Autry to Red Rider to Lone Rider. Um, there's just so much stuff in there and so many different um, publishers. Uh, and I also love the fact that the conditions range so much. So you have copies that will be appealing for people who just want to read them as well as people who want to invest in them. So there's something for everybody in this collection. It's really exciting. And I'm so thrilled to be a part of bringing this to market. It's been, a, it's been a fun experience, and it's been a challenge in terms of, uh, of, of getting everything processed and, and, and seeing so many comics, and even, even some Westerns I've never seen before, which is really cool. Yeah, and, you know, and for good measure, there's a random you know, selection of I Love Lucy comics, um, or When Worlds Collide, or Tarzan, actually pretty complete series of Tarzan books. Oh, yeah, he uh, he did have a few other things. I said it's a shame that he didn't collect, you know, like Spider-Man or all the original Superman, because at the time he started collecting back in the 60s and 70s, he could have gotten an amazing fantasy or, a, you know, a Superman number one for probably a reasonable price. Uh, but instead, he invested in Western and that's what he loved. And I get that's what you do with these sort of books. You buy what you love and, uh, yes. and you enjoy it. Now, yeah. I am. I was going to say that what was really impressive also was that you could see he's really a, a, not just a collector, but a reader, and, and, and he really enjoyed this stuff because he was even collecting uh, some modern uh, Westerns, which uh, I was really tickled to see in there. So um, there really is literally something for everybody. You have 1940s, 50s, 60s. You have a little bit of everything. And, and the TV comic books are really fun as well. And then, of course, you know, don't get me started on the lobby cards. You get so many awesome movies in there. Oh, yeah. Uh, John now, Wayne and Eastwood and wow. So I am on your website right now. And uh, for those that want to sign it, it's very easy. You just, you just create an account, you register. It's very simple. It took me, I think all of 30 seconds to create an account for myself. You fill out your name, you create a password, it sends you an email, you, you verify your email and you're in. And so I'm in uh, and I'm on the site right now. And it has this little spot here, which looks like it says sort by or filter. Now, um, we have posters as well. And to see those results, we also have to go into um, all the different varieties here. So once you're in the quick draw auction category, which we are, you can uh, go by different item category where there's big little books, um, which they're starting to get sorted. Um, and we also have a whole pile of posters and you, you can see the different filters here as I'm going through. Um, and that just makes it really easy for people to sort based on what they're looking for. There's going to be probably a whole lot more um, posters and lobby cards and that uh, we just have started getting things ready. 
but I don't envy the task that you guys had in front of you getting this all done. So I really appreciate all the effort that you guys have put in. And uh, I know there's going to be a very big variety of people to bid on and uh, to enjoy. So yeah, and I wanted to thank you also for your trust and and it's been a real pleasure getting to know you and your wife. And uh, I think one of the things you and I really bonded over is our passion for collectibles. Uh, and I was really uh, intrigued by your business and and watching some of your fantastic videos and and hearing about your stories of collectibles and. Uh, that you've purchased and, and, and entire houses filled with stuff. And we both run into the same type of situations with hoarders and things like that. I remember back in the early 2000s, um, there was a collector who uh, basically, uh, he, he basically passed away and his neighbors went into the estate sale and bought all, all the furniture. And when they opened up the furniture drawers, there was, an entire collection of horror comics from the 1950s. So they had just gone in there to buy furniture and they got everything that was in the drawers included. So they had a this massive collection of, of, of uh, comic books too. So you never know what you're going to find. And I think, again, that's one of the fun things about doing what we do. Yeah, it, you know, it's that mystery. You know, even today I was digging through someone's basement uh, looking for treasures. So that's always the uh, the fun and the appeal of this business. And now... I've gone to the effort to find all these treasures and find all these wonderful things. And now the people at home have a chance to bid on it. You guys will ship pretty much anywhere in the world, won't you? Anywhere in the world. The, the one thing I was going to say, is when, you, when you do start your account, if you want to start bidding, you do need to put a credit card. We're not going to charge you if you want to pay by check, but we just need to have that in there uh, for verification purposes. So don't forget to, uh, to put everything, all the pertinent information in there so you can get started bidding as soon as possible. Yeah, well, I appreciate you taking the time. We're going to um, keep our fingers crossed and hope that this is going to be a great sale. I know there's a lot of interest out there, and these are comics that certainly aren't going to come up for sale every day of the week. So uh, thank you for all the work that you're doing, and uh, you know, let's uh, we're going to watch eagerly when this auction happens. So thank you for your time today, Vincent. My pleasure, and I'm expecting a great turnout, and hopefully we'll see a bunch of your uh, friends out there in the social media world, come on in to bid as well. Oh, I sure hope so. Thanks again, Vincent. All right. Take Thanks. care. Bye-bye.